cats unfortunately have four right lobes and three left lobes. So for the cats, just know that these as the left lobe, left lobe. and these are the right lobe. Got it? Okay. So the respiratory system. And there is the vocal cords. This is the trachea. This is the right lung. Right and this is the left, left lung. Yes. You've been wondering why I've been spending my time back there doing that. For the digestive system. Below the trachea, there's this tube. <coughs> this tube continues to be this tube. Okay? How do I know it's the same tube? I can tug it. Okay, this is the esophagus. Esophagus. It's a tube behind the tricky. Tricky. Hi. Right. Okay. This is the tube behind the trachea. But it runs next to the aorta down here. So what I did was I sacrificed the aorta. And then I'm easier to tug out the esophagus. The esophagus continues on until it crosses this organ right here, which is the diaphragm. The di once it crosses the diaphragm, it becomes this organ right here called the stomach. This cat ate well before it died. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why I can tell you out. is because one is stretched out. Normally, I see a stomach this big. Mm. I will kiss. Do not open this. <laughs> because there might be a rat, there might be worms, there might be furballs. Yeah. I caution you, do not open <laughs> So this is the stomach. From the stomach, it goes into the small intestine, which is this first part right here. Does everybody see it? See, now this first part, everybody see this, this number in this tissue right here? Kind of brownish, yellowish, brownish, grayish. That's the pancreas. Pancreas. <laughs> This is the pancreas. See, it's, in the cat, it's really just a mass of tissue. It's not really a whole organ like humans. But this is the pancreas. So it continues on, continues on, small, 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 And then suddenly, no, not yet. Is it that thing is small? This is the small. Notice that this is small and then suddenly it becomes large. Oh, so okay, this yeah. is where the ileocecal valve would be. And the first section of the first section of the large intestine is called the cecum. Small intestine, cecum. So what you you can't touch the thing. You can't. But what you can notice is that small, big. Small intestine, large intestine. Okay. So it continues on as the large intestine. I got tired down here of digging around. But you wouldn't see the anus and the rectum. Okay. Now, that is the digestive system. For the urinary system, kidney shaped organ, kidney, one on that side and one on this side. One and one. Okay. Out of the kidneys, there are two white tubes. I thoroughly sacrificed my large intestines. See this tube right here that I can tug down here? This tube is connected to this thing right here. Notice I can tug it. See I'm tugging it? So this, these two things is the ureters because I can tug it. See me tugging it? It goes down to this organ right here that stores the urine, that would be the urinary bladder, and then this tube right here, that took me a long time to continue on to go down here, you guys all see it? And then it goes out this tiny little organ out here, called the penis. Wow. So this is the urethra that comes out of the penis. And that's why I didn't want you guys to be around me when you guys were, I was bisecting because the males would have a very trouble. Okay. So those are the ureter tubes? What is, Can we see what the is the spleen? I haven't got them yet. Let me just finish the, the urinary, urinary first. Once again, these are the kidneys. 
These white tubes on either side that I can tell is the urine tube. Urine gets stored in the urinary bladder that goes out the urethra, which is this tube that I had a hard time breaking. And I was sitting here wondering, when was the last time I, I packed the pelvis? It was a good five years ago. So this would be the coming out of the hole, and we do this organ right here, which I always call the penis. Now, for the other organs of the digestive system, <coughs> this large organ right here is called the liver. See this thing right here that's popping up? That is the gallbladder. The gallbladder is usually right. Most of the time, see the gallbladder now? Most of the time, it's actually just a little dip. But this one actually, because he was still eating and having fun, it's a he. So therefore, he has a pretty enlarged gallbladder. For the spleen, though, the spleen is pretty small. I've seen larger spleen, so this is a rather healthy cat. Sometimes I've seen spleens that runs all the way across. So how I tell if it's a healthy cat or an unhealthy cat is by the size of the spleen. So this is a relatively healthy cat. So this is the spleens. Now, for the genital, male genital, what you're looking for are these two right here. Can you see these two tubes? See this right here? That's the gonadal arteries and veins. I didn't destroy them this time. Well, actually, I destroyed parts of them. Which you and it's this one right here. It continues and runs along. If you look very carefully, does everybody see this one? See this one? And then there's a right duck. This one I kind of destroyed. And there's some one. I think I destroyed. So the red tube, which is the stomatic artery, plus the white tube, which is the vas deferens. The vas, de the ductus deferens, and the somatic artery becomes what we call the somatic cord. So the somatic cord is on both sides. It took me 10 minutes to dig out this testy, so I refused to dig out the other one. Just keep inside. But I did one side. It took me 10 minutes. Because if you don't poke right, you're going to poke into things you shouldn't be poking into. So, I refuse to... But can everybody see these two right here on either side? Yes. Yeah. How can I help you? I think we're just helping in. Ah. Where was I? Ah! From out of court. <laughs> One side and the other side. So notice that as I open this up, the, the spermatic cord. So the spermatic cord is made out of two things. The vas deferens, or the ductus deferens, and the spermatic artery. And then notice, down here. See this thing right here that kind of wraps around? Everybody see that? That is called the epididymis. That's the C-shaped structure that wraps around. This structure is right here, which is called the testes or the <coughs> testicles, which sits in here in a sac oh. that you can stuff that in there. Uh. Caught the scroll. Oh. Hmm. I just got lazy. I should have done the other side too, but it took me a whole 10 minutes. I refuse to do it. One of you guys have helped me clean up. I refuse to clean up this place. Okay? <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you. No. <laughs>